Hi, everybody. Sure, hope you had a great weekend. The extreme heat is going to continue as we get into our Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday time frame. But there is some much-needed relief that's going to be setting up shop and headed our way. We're talking the cooler temperatures by the end of the week. We're talking much-needed and possible drought-busting kind of rain that's going to be setting up shop for the latter part of the week. Before we get there, though, we are starting off on the warm and muggier side. So the humidity is going to be gradually increasing here over the next couple of days, 60s and 70s to get the day started. 91 degrees Monday for the lunch hour, so definitely an indoor kind of a lunch hour and an indoor kind of a day. I know practices start as we get into Monday. Band practices start for some of the high schools getting ready for the fall season. And coaches and parents, keep in mind, not only is it going to be hot and muggy, and yes, it's been that way all summer long, Heat index values on Monday afternoon will be pushing over the 100 degrees, and so that's going to increase our stress, our heat stress. That means when you're out in the direct sunlight, how does the body feel? It puts extra stress on our bodies in the direct sunlight because it's not just the heat index value we're talking about, but the direct sunlight that makes it feel incredibly hot. So keep that in mind. We're going to do it again on into our Tuesday. By Wednesday, we'll start to see the heat stress come down just a little bit, still really hot and muggy. However, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, big improvements are on the way. Let's talk about it because when you look at your dew point trend, dew points climb into the low 70s all the way through Wednesday, Thursday. They'll drop a little bit. It's not necessarily a lot of the dew point numbers that are going to drop, but it's going to be the temperatures. We're going to be a, little, a lot more seasonable Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So again, with cooler temperatures, you don't quite have those heat index values, even if dew points are on the higher side. But the hottest days are Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Heat index values will be pushing close to heat advisory criteria, and then we'll get rid of those heat index values to round out the week and get into the upcoming weekend. Not to mention, as I mentioned, much-needed rain is on the way. So elevated rain chances by the end of the week and really looking at one to two inches of rainfall area-wide from now through, say, Saturday. And the highest rainfall totals could be up across the higher elevations where we'll see afternoon showers and thunderstorms building, plus the cold front by the end of the week. And so that's going to lead to two to four inches of rainfall so that, my friends, is beneficial, no doubt about it. And if you're tired of the heat, the good news is, is we may be rounding out the month of July at or even slightly below average. There are signs that some cooler than average weather is going to be setting up shop and rolling our way. So stay on top of the latest weather forecast every single day with the East Tennessee Weather app. You can download it for free from the East Tennessee, uh, for, excuse me, from your app store or the Google Play Store, the app store anyways, through iPhone and Android. I'm also on Roku TV, Amazon Fire, uh, YouTube, so go smash and subscribe to that YouTube channel, plus like, share, and uh, and look at everything on social media. I'm on all social media weather platforms. East Tennessee weather is weather when you want it, and it's right there at your fingertips with the East Tennessee weather app. Have a great night. Of course, we'll see you for Wake Up with Witcher. It starts bright and early, 7 o'clock in the morning. We'll get you out the door, check traffic, and have some coffee talk and see what everyone did for the upcoming week, this past weekend, I should say. All right, we'll see you back here real soon.